Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be doing my April to be on. Let's get going. So I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue to make TBRs because obviously I did not complete my March TBR. So as I have ideas, I'm just gonna make those ideas as my TBR. I think that makes sense and I'm able to complete them. So I think that makes sense. <laughs> but let's get going. So my, all my books are from the library. I think libraries are fantastic and I love them and people should pay more attention to them. Because, best of all, they are free. So, let's get going. My first book is Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. I actually have no idea what this is about. An ancient history. I was about to say an ancient history. Oh my gosh. Uh, an ancient city plagued by dragons. 18 year old Sala and Sala there is a Talented flamingo dancer and daughter of the most famous dragon Nana in Hispalia, people come from miles to see him fight in the arena, which one day be hers. But disaster strikes during one celebratory show, and in the carnage, Sarah's life changes in an instant. A flamingo dancer who must become a dragon hunter to save her family legacy. With the dragon girl trying to wrest control of inheritance from her, Zarela has no choice but to train her train to become a dragon alien. But when the most talented dragon hunter left in the land, the feeling the handsome Arturo Diaz de Montserrat, Arturo Diaz de Mon Montserrat, withholds his help, Zarela, and withholds his help, Zarela cannot take no for an answer. Without him, her world will burn. I don't really like when authors keep saying, oh, he's so handsome in like every single plot. Like, we get it. Like, what other boy can there be in books? Like, what's wrong with a normal looking guy? Like, honestly, why can we not have an average looking guy in books? What's wrong with that? I'm so over it. <laughs> My next book is Midnight Strikes by Zeba Shanaz. Here is the truth. Between the first and last bells of midnight, the world will fall apart, and only I know it's coming. Seventeen-year-old Anais just wants this night to end. A provincial outside at the Royal Anniversary Ball, she has no desire to rub shoulders with the kingdom of Imbada's most eligible and pompous bachelors, especially not the notoriously roguish Prince Leo. But then, at the circle of midnight, an explosion rips through the palace, killing everyone in its path, including her. The last thing Anais sees is fire, smoke, chaos, and then she wakes up. In her bedroom, hours before the ball, no one else remembers the deadly attack or believes the warnings of disaster. I do not even want to have it again, and again, and again. If she's going to escape the nice nightmarish time loop, Anais must take control of her own fate and stop and stop the attack before it happens. But in Rada's gilded surface, believe belies a rotten core, full of restless nobles are frustrated with the king's power. Discontented commanders inching from the illusion, and even royals who secretly dream of taking the throne. It's up to Anais to untangle the knots of power and deception at the heart of the kingdom if she can ride past midnight. So, this is a time loop story, as you can tell, but you will see how this goes. My next book is Ravel by Lisa Mia Smith. On the island of charm and magic flowers like boot like champagne and fantasies can be bought for the price of a gemstone. Luke's Ravel, star of star the family's fantastical show, knows that the splendor is just an illusion. With from prohibition threatening their livelihood, her family struggles to make a living, wandering down champagne and punching holes in the sequined costumes. So when the start of Chairman's wealthiest family makes Luke's an offer, all the liquid and Ravel's need to stay in business, in exchange for posing as his girl and helping him become mayor, she can't refuse. The moment Jamie's support sets for enchantment, he can shake the feeling of familiarity. And often with his few memories of gemstones, he is desperate to learn what happened with his parents. But as he delves into the island's secret, he risks entering the wrong person and discovers the truth that he just might break his heart. But when Luke and Jameson accidentally meet, the sparks that fly are more than her magical enchantments. But keeping secrets from powerful people is a dangerous game, one that could destroy both. That sounds so cool. And my next one is Threads That Buy by Giga Hatsopulu. I wonder if she's Greek. Just because of her last name, but 
I think she might be Greek. Anyways, the standards of the fates are always born in place. One to weave, one to draw, and one to cut threads that connect people to the things they love and to live for itself. The older sisters are no exception. Lo Ayo, the youngest, uses her fate born abilities as a private investigator in the half second city of Alanti, but her latest job leads her to a horrific discovery. Somebody is abducting a woman, ma maiming the life threads, and setting the resulting rats loose in the city to kill. To find a culprit, she must work alongside Edie Luna, the right hand of the infamous mob queen, and the boy with whom she shares a fate thread, linking them as soulmates before they have even met. The investigation turns personal when Aya's estranged older sister shows up on the arm of her best suspect. Amid unreal secrets from her past and her growing feelings for Edie, Aya must follow clues through the city's darkest corners and unearth a conspiracy that involves some of the city's most powerful players before destruction comes to her own doorsteps. My next book is The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford. Outsiders are always given a choice, the forest or the lake. Either way, they're never heard from again. Nilo has spent her entire life on Endor, coexisting with the bloodthirsty forest and respecting the poisonous lake that protects her island from outsiders who seek to destroy it. But as much as Lilo cares for her community, she struggles to accept that her younger brother will be exiled by his next birthday, unless he gains the magic of a chanted song so vital to Lin and love. When Lilo was see sees a young outsider on the verge of drowning in the lake, she knows exactly what she's supposed to do, but in the moment that will change everything, Lilo betrays her family, her best friend of n by making an unthinkable choice. Discovery could lead to a devastating consequences for both Lilo and the outsider. German, but as they grow closer, Lilo realizes that not all danger comes from behind, beyond the lake, and they can only survive if Lilo is willing to question the very fabric of her society, her people, and herself. That sounds so good. So those are all the books that I'll be reading in April. It looks ambitious, but I think I can do it. So let me know what you're going to read in April. And please like, comment, and subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!